be doing some cooking today. See, I've been doing some gardening lately and had a little bit of crop come up. Now, I was growing tomatoes mostly to use in things like sauces and stuff. I'm not the biggest tomato fan. I like them in things. I like spaghetti sauce, I like salsa, and that's what I'm going to try today. So I have just a few tomatoes that came in off my plant. And the plan is to wash these up and follow along with the, I guess it's the you suck at cooking method. So for this, I have my tomatoes, some cilantro, an onion. Now I won't be using the whole onion because that would be more onion than tomato at this point. So we'll use some of this onion. I'm thinking about a quarter, but it might be a little bit less. Some raw minced garlic. A pinch of sugar. I really don't want too much sweetness, but according to the recipe, there needs to be some. And then these quick pickled jalapenos that I've had in the fridge for a while. So simplest thing in the world. I'm just going to dice this stuff up. See how it tastes when I'm done. Wish me luck. my salsa. Uh, it did come out looking a little bit more like a pico de gallo despite me mincing it as tight as I possibly could on the tomato because again I'm not the biggest tomato fan but I like a salsa. I will say I think using the jalapenos I used may have stacked the deck in this salsa's favor just a little bit because they are very good pickled jalapenos. There is my chip. Let's see how I did. I like it. <laughs> of all the things to do with uh, fresh grown tomatoes, I think this goes pretty high on the list. So I might tweak the recipe, figure out different ways I like doing things. I think right now I'm going to throw a little bit more of those jalapenos in because I think it needs a little bit more on the heat side. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Tell you what, let me give you a status report once I've thrown some more jalapeno in there. All right, here is what it's looking like after I doubled up the jalapeno content and added a few extra cranks of salt. Let's see if this is an improvement. Nice little chip worth of it. The cilantro still comes through really strong, but that has a better kick, for sure. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you don't know the technique I'm using here, I'll link to it. It is a much more successful <laughs> YouTuber's video that I learned the basics of this. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid to experiment a little bit and have your fun in the kitchen. Have a good day, everyone. Mm -hmm.